Right, guys, in this video, we're going to be going over some really simple and easy ways you can increase your e-commerce SMA client sales by around 25% with some really simple and easy tricks. Um, yeah, Tom, do you, want to, do you want to start? First of all, well, like first up is e-com. Um, it's very difficult. With the, with, with your presence online is very, very difficult. You're judged if you're not on it. You're judged when you're on it. Um, you, you are exposed to an abundance of different ads. But so e-com is a tough niche. However, we have e-com clients, they pay good. Um, and it's necessary, it's like necessary, necessary, sorry. Um, to, to, <laughs> it's necessary, necessary. It's been a long fucking morning. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's important. I would say if you're gonna, if you want to squeeze out an extra 25%, no, and I'm talking, me and Harry are talking here, not 25% on your ROAS, on your little business manager stats, which make no fucking sense to anyone because they're not correct. So we're talking about getting actual sales and a 25% improvement on sales. And where are you going to see your improvement on sales? Through probably through your, you know, big commerce, Shopify, WordPress stats, you know, Wix information that the very, very, final point of sale okay which your client will have all the info to and they will know because it's their business getting 25 percent extra i would say mate is you're going to talk about something else i'll talk about the quality of the ads yeah so ad quality i cannot stress how important it is to make sure that if you have an econ brand you are putting ads out there that are n that do not blend with the with the scroll so when people are on Instagram or on Facebook or it could be even TikTok if you're using that platform, if your ads are just being skipped through and you'll know that through clicks and low CTR, and CTR is click-through rate, if you're getting high clicks and then really low click-through rate, people are just like going through it to get rid of it, okay? You want to be creating ads that stand out, that look chic, that look high-end, um, that are well-designed, good photography, HD images. If you're running ads that, with a product that's not in HD, you are well out of touch. You know, that's like, you're like 10 years behind. Yeah, massively. So make sure if you have, and people will be like, well, you know, I haven't got HD images. Ask your client for it. You're using their ad budget. You should be going back to them saying, the images you've given me are not good enough. I need more images. When are you yeah. going to give it to me? But the quality of the ads is something which, I actually really appreciate when I'm on Instagram now and I'm, you know, I'm on my stories or on my feed and I see, I get a lot of train, like trainers, sneakers and stuff coming up and a nice fitted chinos coming up on my feed and, you know, that, that sort of stuff, you know, like the Blakely yeah, yeah. Type, type ads. I get loads of those and I can, I actually stop and click and, sh and shop through carousels yeah. when the ads, when they look, when it looks really good. Cause I think fucking hell, they look nice. Yeah. Really nice. I think, yeah, I think when we talk about 25% increase, that's not a massive increase. If you're going in to start no. running ads for the first time for a client, I'm hoping you're going to increase the sales by an awful lot more than that. Um, but when we're talking about 25% increases, such little changes, like, for example, adding abandoned cart emails. So every time someone adds something to their cart and they, they begin the checkout process, they'll get an email saying, Harry, you've left something in your cart, click this button, re-add it to your cart and check out a day after, and then another one in seven days time. That will increase that will that will save abandoned carts by around 19 to 23 percent as it is. So 20, 19 to 23 percent of your abandoned carts will now convert to sales just by adding that really simple automation that will cost you probably ten dollars a month to implement. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and that and that will save, and like I say, that will save abandoned cart sales by 19%, which is which is massive, especially if you've got loads of traffic to your website and it's a massive brand. 19% of abandoned carts is going to be an awful lot of money for that, for that business. And that's, that's not even Im implementing any stuff with ads. So there's loads of little things that we're going to go through here that, that you can implement right away. Um, the second thing, growing an email list for the client it is yeah. huge. And if you have not got an email marketing strategy in place, that's such a really quick and easy way that you can increase their sales by a minimum of 25%. Like yeah. an, an, how important is an email list? It's, it's, uh... For me, it's more important than running sponsored ads because it's it's a lower cost to to hit the 
to introduce your product to that consumer. It's actually at a much lower cost. You are you have way less restrictions, so you can do your before and afters if it's if it's or, all right. If we're talking ecom, not so much, but you can go into more more product detail without having to worry about restrictions. Um, people can choose to opt out if they want to opt out. So those who don't opt out and they're still getting your emails, they're actually still engaged. So it's a really good way of it's a good concept, good gauge of are these people wanting my content from the emails? Yeah. And also, when we're looking at you know growing twenty five percent for an ecom brand emails having an email list that is growing with it will naturally bring sales but also you can keep an eye on what's called the open rate of these emails now if your open rate at the minute is running at about 15 percent, that is slightly below average because average is about 18 but if you get it from 18 to 28 that's 10 percent. you get a 10 percent increase on your open rates you can actually probably ensure that you're going to get maybe two percent on itself through additional sales where people are actually reading your emails more. Yeah. And, and we've, we've got, we've got clients with an, email, with an open rate of 90%, fit like 50, yeah. 60, 70, 80, 90%. But that's, that, that's the down to you to grow a, a high quality email list. But like you say, the average is very low because you know, a lot of people don't know how to do it and the quality of their email list is low. Um, yeah. But yeah, like for example, if you're working with a client, grow their email list, run some ads to a, a lead magnet or an opt-in where they can grow their email list or, you know, some kind of lead magnet where they get can download a PDF or something, a really low ad budget that's going to grow that email list list by 30, 40, 50 people a day, because then you can yeah. email that list tw- you know, twice a month, three times a month with new products, different features of products, testimonials. And that works for yeah. e-commerce brands. That works for lead gen brands. Um, so we've sorts. got a client, we've, we've got an e-com client that we grow the email list by 1200 new emails a month. From And that costs us very little probably less than a hundred dollars a month yeah for 1200 new, and it's so t- the targeted people who will buy the product who need the product they, they do buy them because we can see as soon as they get that first email so back to the beginning we'll spend three do- three dollars a day on ad spend to our lead magnet that's set up in, in a particular way if you're in the academy you'll know what we're talking about then they'll in seven days time or five days time, they'll receive our first email about the benefits of the product that we're selling our e-commerce, our e-commerce brands um, product. They'll then we can see right away. The data shows that they buy that product straight away. So it's not, so that's how it funnels the clients diff slightly differently from cold traffic to warm traffic to a purchase than just going, here's an ad buy the product. Now we're now leading them in with value, getting them in our network and then going from there. No, people need to remember that actually you don't want to run sponsored ads at all if you can help it. Like, yeah, if you had your way, if we all had our way, we wouldn't be spending money with Meta to promote the product. You want to get away from from running ads eventually with your brands. So you are then managing e- a, a huge email list or running ads maybe like once a week, every eight weeks. Exactly. And, and not only that, people forget that, that email list can be used in many different ways. Not only can you just directly email them your products to get them to buy, you can also say, Facebook, here's a hundred thousand people that are our customers, make a lookalike audience of it, make a 1%, yeah. 2%, one, two, two percent lookalike audience in. And then that's test like that, that those ad sets without fail are going to be better than your cold traffic. Yeah. So you want to go from cold traffic to no longer having to rely on cold traffic. Now you're only relying on warm traffic, lookalike audiences and, and using your data from your website. And then once you have uh, once you get to a stage where you don't even need that, your brand should take off and you don't even need to, to run ads. Obviously yeah. that's very far down the line and you, it's a long way to get to that yeah, point. But that's the aim, but isn't it? It is, yeah. And then you'll just be running brand awareness campaigns. So that yeah. that is the aim. So those, those are some really short, sweet tips that you can do if you've got an e-commerce client implement them straight away learn how to do the abandoned cart emails learn how to grow an email list through ads to a lead magnet work with them to create a lead magnet use that email list in your lookalike audiences to grow the ads better get better quality ad creatives get better quality ads get you know sort your copywriting out there's such this this video isn't a a hidden strategy to do this 25 percent increase it's just some really you know instant changes you can make with your campaigns that are going to to help increase your sales and yeah. if you're working with a client for the first time, do that day one. That's going to set you off on, on the right foot right away. Yeah, completely. Cool. Well, I think that's going to help a lot of people, mate. I think we'll wrap it up there. Yeah. 
Cool. Good. Well, uh, yeah, if you've, not, if you've not watched the, the previous video, guys, we went over how to sign for your first or next 1K a month client in at least 30 days. Um, the link will be somewhere on the video. So watch that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.